Welcome to 751 Fry. This is Fry. You can see you're going to be looking at a bunch of what woods, nature, um, property that some individual owns that is not part of Lawson Farm subdivision. And you actually, while you are part of Lawson Farm subdivision, Fry Street is you don't drive through the entry gate to Lawson Farms. So you enjoy this, you know, more secluded, more country kind of climate here. The sellers have done such a beautiful job of this landscaping. I want to point out what care they have taken with these wonderful rock liners and the plants on our entry. This is a Blake Taylor resale and it's just as pretty today as the day he sold it. You walk into the Great room with the coffered tray ceiling, recessed lights. That is a wood burning fireplace there. The engineered hardwood runs all the way through the formal dining room and the open kitchen and breakfast nook. This travertine backsplash surround for the fireplace, and it's the same in the open kitchen. So pretty. This open kitchen concept, when this house was built, this was very odd. And now it's like, you know, who wouldn't want this? Fridge right there. Cabinet pantry that has pull out drawers. This little mud bench, perfect. Right there on your way in from the garage. Perfect to drop off your groceries, right? Here is your breakfast nook. And here is a better look at your formal dining room. Judges panels. Okay, so let's check out the master suite, which is over here. It's an open and split floor plan. On this side, we've got the master. A handy little linen closet right there. And this is the laundry. Nice built-in cabinetry slate on the floor, which is a natural material just like the granite in the kitchen. Here's your master bedroom with that beautiful tray, coffered ceiling, double windows looking out back. That closed door is your walk-in closet. We'll leave that alone until you come look at it yourself. And here is your master bath. So you've got a double vanity, granite, undermounted oval sinks. Look at this. Isn't this just beautiful? A jetted tub. How stunning is that? So pretty. I love this. I'm crazy about this. <laughs> All right, here is your private water closet with built-in cabinetry and your tile shower couple of shelves there in the corner. Beautiful tile finishes. Very artistic. Huge framed mirror, right? Back into the master. Let me point out that this is a pocket door.
All right, we checked out the laundry. That's a linen closet. Back through this archway into the great room. And through this, I was going to say doorway, but there is no door through this um, archway. You have three beautiful bedrooms and your guest full bath. So we'll go to the front of the house first. Big window, little arches on top, I like that. Note that you have crown molding throughout, even in the guest bedrooms and the guest bath. Double door closet. Here is your guest bath. Transom window over that tub shower drop-in. This beautiful slate floor. Another granite countertop, undermounted oval sinks, huge framed mirror. Go down the hall, here's your middle bedroom. So pretty. And one last bedroom here. This one is at the rear of the house. Another double door closet there. Crown molding throughout. Now, in addition to this interior, Let's look at the screen porch, the open patio, and the fabulous backyard. So, tile floor, so you can really bring your living outdoors. I love that decorative fan, the stained beadboard. Here is an open patio that might fit your hot tub just right. Really well maintained, you can see that fence. And what's behind that fence, you well may ask? It is a gully that goes between you and see the rooftop of your backyard neighbor there. So that's as close as your backyard neighbor can ever get. That gully is there purposefully to keep the water away from your house. Seven fifty one fry.